I'm Alex Wolf, and this is my ePaper Weather Display. My ePaper Weather Display combines a high quality ePaper screen with a particle photon. The particle photon connects to If This Then That's Weather Underground channel to serve you with highly accurate forecasts that appear directly on your display without any wires needed. There's only a few things you need to create this project. Let's get started. You don't need much to create my ePaper Weather Display. You can pick up this ePaper screen, this particle photon, this micro USB cable, this micro SD card, and these connectors from dfrobot.com. Assembly of the project is super simple. You can start by taking your formatted and flashed micro SD card and inserting it into the provided slot on the ePaper display. The next thing to do is take this connector, which has six pins on it, and insert it into the slot on the ePaper display. You can now start to hook up these connectors to your particle photon. I'll show you how to do this. The first pin, or reset, you can leave unconnected. This is the blue wire. The next pin, which is the yellow wire, and that's also wake up, is going to be connected to D2 on your particle photon. Next is the digital in, D in, or the third pin on the e-paper display. This is also the green wire. You're going to connect D in to TX on your photon. The next pin, which is the white wire, is connected to RX on your photon. Second to last, you have ground, which is the black wire. You can connect ground to the ground pin or one of the ground pins on your photon. And lastly is voltage, VCC, or the red wire. This can be connected to the 3.3 volt pin or 3V3 on your particle photon. The last thing you need to do is simply connect your photon to power using the micro USB cable or battery, and that's that. Now that everything's assembled, I'm going to keep the photon out of sight because it makes things look a little cleaner. I'm going to do this by attaching it to the back of this board with a little bit of hot glue and then hiding the cables. I'll show you what this looks like when it's done. As you can see, I've glued the photon to the very bottom of the board. This both exposes the micro USB connector on the end and it allows me to use the photon as a little kickstand. In addition to being high contrast, ePaper displays look really good from all angles when they're sitting in direct sunlight. 